test, test, test. Test, test, test. And what is up? We are live, live on YouTube, opening this Celebrations ETB here on a Saturday night. See if anyone flows in. If not, that's cool. Just wanted to do this live because I'm having fun opening stuff and chatting with people live. So what's up, Piper Rare? Welcome to the welcome to the stream. We're blessed to have actually gotten something back from uh, or something from GameStop uh, that came in one piece. So pretty stoked uh, to open one of the regular ETBs. Opened one of the uh, special Pokemon Center ones, but this one's pretty cool. Your buddy pulled the Umbreon. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude, you're the Umbreon King. Love that. So, um, yeah, let's let's crack into this. So I I just wanted to you know go live, check this out. Hey, thanks, Derek. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be cool just to pop one of these open. I think this is really the last of celebrations I'm gonna open, like for in the near term. Um, you know, we'll see how much of this ends up out there over time, but. I've pretty much pulled everything I've wanted. Like I got, I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, let me put that back down. So honestly, I haven't opened like a crazy amount, like nothing like these people online. Like I pre-ordered a decent amount. And honestly, the classic collection has been really easy to pull. Like I've got my Venusaur. Um, I got the birthday Pikachu I wanted. I got Shining Magikarp. Um, Blastoise, Cleffa, which is one I really wanted. Hey, what's up, Obi Bong? Uh, Imposter Professor Oak, Garchomp, Rayquaza, Rocket's Admin, Gardevoir, Dark Gyarados, of course, one of my favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon, one of my favorite Gyarados cards ever by Himeno. The Groudon, the Tapu Lele, the Mewtwo. The Clay Doll, here comes Team Rocket, and Don Fan. And then I really like this professor's research, so I made sure one was protected. But yeah, honestly, guys, I've I've pulled a lot. Like, like I, maybe I've had really good luck, or maybe the pull rates are really just that insane. But I, uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be cool to pull a Charizard, of course. There's a couple other great cards. The Gold Muse always fun to chase. So we'll see what comes out of this box. Hey. Glad you're catching it live. Hyper Rare. Yeah, Dark Gyarados is awesome. I actually have that card both. I've done a side-by-side, -side, but I have it in first edition English. And then I swapped out into um, CGC for the Japanese side. And it just bangs. I mean, the, the way that this blue looks here, it's so good. It's so damn good. Like, the Japanese one just pops different. So, love that artwork. Was really stoked to have pulled that one. So yeah, this set's been fun. Um, hope you guys have been able to get some. If not, I'm sure you will be able to. There's going to be a lot of it. What cards am I missing from the classic set? Um, Charizard. Um, let's see. Let's uh, let's look up the classic collection. Classic collection card list. Let's see. So I am missing. Let's see, 25th anniversary um, celebrations set list. I'm trying to think what I'm missing besides Charizard. I traded for the Rockets Zapdos, which is one of my favorites. Um, Charizard I'm missing. Um, Umbreon, the Gold Star Umbreon, of course. The EX Mew. The Luxray. Oh, and then the Reshram and Zekrom, too. And the Xerneas. So there's some really good, um, you know, ones that I haven't pulled yet. But for me, like, I've already kind of pulled most of the ones I want. So I just thought it would be cool, though, to open one of these because I, I love ETBs. I think they've done such a good job. Oh, I guess I could have just looked in the Player's Guide. We'll open up the Player's Guide, guys. So... Yeah, CGC Slab and Gyarados looks so good. So hope you guys had a great day. I just got home from dinner. Um, 
went out with a couple of friends. So figured I'd just hop on, wanted to crack this ETB. Let's see. So um, wouldn't hate to pull another golden Mew uh, or another professor's research. Then haven't pulled Charizard yet. Uh, traded for this one. Let's see, haven't pulled Mew, haven't pulled Umbreon, have not pulled Luxray, and haven't pulled Reshiram, Zekrom, or Xerneas. So I'm surprised they didn't weave in some secret rares. I think they're going to do it a little differently on the Japanese side. We'll see. But um, yeah, what are uh, you guys can let me know in the chat what you guys are looking to looking to pull. You guys know I'm not a Charizard guy for anyone that follows me, but I'm sure it'd be pretty cool to pull a base Charizard. So let's see what we get in here. We get our rule book. We get one, two, three, four packs. We got Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain, and two Darkness Ablaze. So we can go chase some Charizard. And then... What did we get, 10 in this one, or is it still 13? Let's see how many we get. Oh, there's another pack, Battle Styles, of course. So one, two, three, five of those. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That makes more sense. 10 Celebrations packs. Our Greninja Gold Star Promo. Pretty sweet card. Pretty sweet card. We got our fat stack of energies. We've got our damage counters. We got the dice. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's an interesting die. I don't know what that character is. Something that I should probably know. I think it's Japanese. Code card for someone that wants it. Here you go. I haven't yet to play the online game. And then, uh, yeah, got these bad boys, these dividers. So they did really well with these. The branding's on point, uh, in my opinion. And you can use the box afterwards. It's really useful. And the sleeves, too. I mean, these sleeves are rad. So we'll uh, stack that stuff back in there. And uh, you know what? Screw it. Why don't we crack everything? So we'll, uh, we'll warm up with the uh, Sword and Shield packs. Get our guy over there. It's here. You guys are having a great night. Obi Bong, you're looking for Mew. Yeah, from the main set. I actually did pull that myself. Um, base three, big three. Yep. Shiny Magikarp and Rocky Zapdos. Yeah, honestly, I think those are like the best ones. But yeah, the, the Zekrom Reshiram are wild. Like, I really do want to see that in person just because I haven't yet. And I think they look really cool. So let's uh, stack these here and let's, uh, let's hop into some warm up packs. So like I said, this is probably the last of what I'll be uh, doing for celebrations. I've just had my fill. I opened what I wanted to. I've really enjoyed it. And uh, I'm stoked for some Japanese. I want to open at least one Japanese box, see if we get anything. So Phoebe, Carnivine, Firo. This artwork is so good. This Baba artwork rocks. Timber, Tepig, Glamyow, Silicobra. Oh, skipped one. Frillish. This Horsey, which is also another dark, dope artwork. And licky licky. <laughs> so nothing on the battle styles pack. Set that over here. Let's go with a darkness of blaze. Why not, right? So again, hope you guys had a great day Saturday, that it was productive, enjoyable, and all that good jazz. So appreciate you guys being here with me and uh Later on a Sunday, Saturday night, you guys could be doing anything and you're hanging out here. So appreciate it. Man, these things are just, the print quality is crazy how bad it is. All right. So we're darkness ablaze. So we're looking for a Charizard, right? That's the only thing in this set. I don't really open darkness ablaze ever. Dunsparce. I actually like that one. 
Electric. That's a great artwork. Yeah, some of the commons in this set are really good. Galarian, Mr. Mime, of course. Grimer. Fletchender. Oh, nice. Look at that. Charizard V. That's funny. I pulled an I pulled another one of these out of these packs. So the not the Charizard we're chasing, but it's a pretty good Charizard. So throw that in a sleeve. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a nice card. Can't can't hate on that. Can't hate pulling a Charizard, even though I'm not a Charizard guy. This is a nice one. You know, a little CGI action for us or whatever, computer animated, but it's cool. <laughs> Mr. Locknet, what's up? Oh man, that's funny. I'm special. Right. Zardy boy. Let's uh let's save the other darkness plays. Let's go chilling rain. So fun fact, chilling rain. Uh, went to Chicago, visited a friend, and uh, bought one of these from an LGS. He had like an open box that he was selling out of and pulled the alternate art Moltres. And luckily had some sleeves with me. So pretty crazy. So there we go. Uh, Mr. Locknet, how do we get the Fui ones? There, uh, there are no giveaways today, but if you go follow me on Instagram, I'll be doing a Oh, that's a great card. I like that one. We're going to do a 1500 give 1500 uh, follower giveaway over on Instagram. So you can go follow me there. Saitao, great artwork. Swirlix. Galarian Yamask. Let's form the sunny form. Oh, that's cool. We got cast form, sunny form, and then we got regular cast form. Two funny ones, right? They're both uh, like, you know, juxtaposition. I'm really tired, guys. It's a juxtaposition with the real world. That's kind of cool. So cast form, impact energy, and slurpuff. Funny, funny rare. What a hilarious rare. That's awesome. All right. Two more packs here. Vivid Voltage. Let's chase the Chonky Chew. Can't say that the... Uh, can't say that the throw-in packs have been, you know, that good in uh, the majority of what I've opened. I haven't, you know, gone crazy here, so I don't know how other people have done, but it's interesting. They, you know, they've just got a lot of this stuff. So here we are. Let's see. And there's the code card. One, two, three, four. But yeah, Celebrations has been fun. I am looking forward to opening a box of Japanese just because I love Japanese cards. I want to see that symbol and uh, just want to kind of enjoy at least one box of that and then have one on display. Man, that EVR work is just too good with the meteors and the comets and whatever in the background. Sweet. So, Trubbish, man. Trubbish. What just a terrible Pokemon. Like, I'm sorry. That's just a terrible Pokemon. Shup it. Choodle. Rather. Opal. That's it's a trippy one. And the Shaman. Cool. Got the hollow. Nice. It's a cool little artwork. Cute little artwork. So all right. And last pack before we get into celebrations, we have Darkness Ablaze. Ooh, jiggly. Love me some Jigglypuff. Just reminds me so much of the anime every time I see Jigglypuff. Absolutely love that. So, two, three, four. Yeah, so like I said, really been enjoying doing the, the YouTube live thing. Just getting started on that. So, hope you guys can come out next Friday. First of all, hang on. That Kamiya artwork on this Flaffy is awesome. Um, hope you guys can come out next Friday for the live box break. Tag Team GX. Going to be a blast. There's our Jigglypuff again. Is that Fujiwara artwork? Yep, Dunsparce, Clink, another terrible Pokemon. <laughs> Rainy, <laughs> the classic Kamiya artwork. Torchich. Ooh, we got the Jiggly again in the reverse, and a Hydreigon. And I actually, someone gave me this promo for free in an order recently. The uh, Pokemon promo of the same card. So. All right, so nothing crazy from the uh, throw-in packs, as I call them, the 
we have all this extra inventory we need to pump out back. So Sword and Shield didn't do anything for us. Let's see if we can get something awesome from Celebrations. Here we go, guys. Rock and roll. Just gonna move this back a little bit. There we go. All right. No pack trick. We just go straight. We know the classic collections in the third slot or not. <laughs> see what we get so be good to us etb be good to us zekrom um, these cards are really great even though i've seen a lot now i mean it's a kasube artwork and it's a hollow you can't beat that palkia again another great artwork rush ram so you got the zekrom and the rush ram there from kasube and the professor's research so there you have it this is one of the best cards, honestly, I think, in the out of 25. Like, it's just so cool how his hand comes down there. So, code card for you guys. And there we go. On to the next one. So, appreciate you guys being here, hanging out. It's kind of weird to I have my computer to the side because I've just been trying to check out, you know, easy way to see the chat, check out the stream. And uh, it's just funny to like see myself delayed by a few seconds. So uh, we'll get the code card there. And away we go. Cosmom, this one's really funny because like Cosmom weighs 2,200 pounds, but it's chilling there on a pillow. Don't know how that works. Then we got Ho-Oh, Saitao artwork, legendary Pokemon, can't beat it. Xerneas, not the Xerneas we're looking for, but still like an amazing one. Like I love like those rainbow antlers. It's sick. And oh yes, yes. Professor's Research Full Art. Ah, oh, I love this card. I love it so much. Oh man, they did such a good job with this one. I mean, freaking classic oak artwork from Sugimori. Are you kidding me? Like how do you... How do you not love that? I mean, if you like Pokemon, I don't know how you cannot not love this card. So, really well done there. Let's put that with our Charizard. All right, here we go. Blazer, I just bought a case of Pokemon Center ETBs for 500. It's the only way to get them now since bots bought everything. Yeah, I mean, I got lucky on like the third drop and I got three, one to open, one to keep sealed and one that I got for a buddy. So, um, is it, is it six in a case for the Pokemon Center ETBs or is it only three in a case? Um, cause I know they're bigger. So I'm going to do the pack trick. Ho oh, Groudon. Nice. I love this card with the team. It's just cool. Oh yeah. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Is it Cleffa? Is it Cleffa? Oh, it's Cleffa. Gosh, that's such a good card. Oh, I love this card. I love this baby Pokemon. Oh, it's so fun. There's just something about like the colorless cards that just, I like the same way psychic cards hit. Like I really just love the color scheme on this. Ugh. This card's so perfect. Give me a binder full of them. Give me a binder full. And woo, flying Pikachu V. Nice. Nice hit. But we got the Cleffa. We got our first classic collection of the ETB. Let's hope this gets the ball rolling for us. But there's nothing more you can ask for than a classic collection Hameno artwork. Um, they, they really, you know, did Hameno right in here. They got Cleffa. They got Dark Gyarados. It's awesome. It's four in a case. Yeah. I don't know. I've been seeing that blazer. I don't know how the heck those guys got so many cases of Pokemon Center ETBs. It's Crazy. So, Cheval, what's going on? All right, put that one over there. And yeah, we're on to the next one. Yeah, I don't know how these guys got all these cases of the Pokemon Center exclusive ones, but I think that Pokemon's website is just a complete farce. I mean, they got a. This is my feeling, guys. 
before I open this pack. I think that they just might be changing their strategy. Maybe they start going more direct to consumer through like an Amazon channel instead of their website. And they just don't want to like put in the effort and time and resources into building a better queuing system or capture system into their own website for cards because they're going to go other avenues to sell them. I don't know. It's just my thought. Yvelta, Palkia, Lugia. I mean, geez, <laughs> awesome card. I mean, I don't even like Lugia that much, but this was a really well done one. Ooh, and our full art Pikachu, baby. I just want to point out how good this card is, okay? You've got the OG Pikachu by Arita. You've got Caterpie, just like how Caterpie is a part of the first episodes and their best friends. You've got Paris chilling back here. You've got Oddish, which most people don't realize, chilling here. You can see that purple. He's right here. I mean, this card is... Here, I'll give you guys the code. This card is absolutely bonkers like i'll take pages of this one i'll take absolutely as many as i can possibly get because it's a i mean a full art pikachu i mean come on i mean this this is the kind of card you think about yeah it's printed to oblivion but gosh it's so fun to collect i mean what an amazing card that like anyone who comes into the hobby for the next 25 years is probably gonna want one of these dang cards and that's why they print so many of them so let's stick that there super stoked on that Let's check out the chat. Celebration exclusive ETB is the only product I was able to buy. Wow. Well, good for you. That's awesome. That's so rad. And yeah, Blazer, that is, it's, I don't get how those guys ended up with all that stuff. And it does, it, it pisses me off. But, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, there's nothing we can do about it now. So I just, I hope people, and honestly, at the end of the day, like, Look, it's just one product. Like, there's way better ways, bang for your buck, to get Celebration packs. I know people want that ETB, and, like, I wanted it, and it's super cool, and I love it. But, like, at the end of the day, if I couldn't get it, I couldn't get it. And, you know, you just kind of got to move on in life and realize that it's, you know, there's more important things. So, here's the code for you. But it is disappointing that, the Pokemon Center's website is that hilariously terrible. That Pikachu is a must. Pulled three in an ETB. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good to me. I will would love to pull three. There's our Lugia again. Any classic collection for us? Oh, let's go! Let's go! It's Gold Star Umbreon, baby. Let's go! Bang, bang! <laughs> That's go hell yeah hell yeah baby hyper rare you see that you still in here it's your boy umbreon man look at that card guys look at that card oh man oh yeah it's off center but dang it's cool dang it's cool ah oh, the Fukuda artwork that's a good one, guys. That's a real good one. Oh, the ETB delivers, baby. The ETB delivers. Wow. That's so rad. Oh, the feels, man. The freaking Gold Star Umbreon. Take you back to what, 07? 06, 07? Oh, what a great card. What a great card. Holy cats. Well, guys, do we even need to open the rest? I mean, come on. So, yeah, it's fat on the left. It's uh, it's definitely off center, but it's all good. Yeah, can't ask for much more. It's a freaking gold star on Brian. Let's just, let's look at that again. Come on. Let's, man. Oh, it's paws up there. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, man. Wow. I'm stoked. That just made my day. What a great ETB. What a great ETB. I tell you, they loaded these guys. I mean, it's... 
you're getting there's something for everyone in these which is fantastic there are no duds in this set it was created for people to appreciate the hobby right to appreciate the history of very iconic collectible and playable cards it's just spot on spot on cosmog and professor's research love that card all day long so only two dud packs, I think, so far, which is crazy. Um, still can't believe we just got that gold star Umbreon. Come on. Thanks, Chavales. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys being here. Um, I really do hope that everyone gets to open what they want. Um, check out my... So check. make sure you're following me on Instagram and you got the alerts on because I'm going to do a celebrations-oriented giveaway for hitting 1,500... Uh, subscribers because i know people aren't getting stuff and i've got a little bit of extra still coming in so i want to give back to the community so we'll uh we'll make it happen for y'all so groudon ho oh palkia and sogaleo so another dud pack but no worries there you look back at these cards and it's like gosh look at that like Oh, with Lily back there, it's so good. There's, so, I mean, yeah, you get a little, you get a little bored, you do, but you get some crazy hits, which is super fun. A lot of YouTubers have quit the hobby after no more fast money to be mad. Speed, dude, I haven't seen anything from Speed in a while. I haven't seen that that guy at all. Um, he, you know. You got a lot of young, excited folks that hopped into the hobby that hadn't been there before, and that's great. But you can get yourself burned out really quickly if you're just kind of chasing chasing the dollars and you don't have a good foundational love. Not foundational love, but patience, right? You can you can really burn yourself out. So let's let's get that out of there. Yeah, I have not seen speed in a while. Um, Groudon. Man, another, this Kyogre with the team. God, the Aqua, it's crazy. It's such a good artwork. I mean, come on. Look at that, guys. Yeah, you see him a lot of times opening these packs, but dang. Rush Ramp, <laughs> Charizard for a second. And boom, Zacian V. That's a really cool one. I like how they did the Zacian Zamazenta pair. I think that's cool. It's pretty iconic. Um, he quit after losing thousands from grading with CGT. He graded 500 cards in no tens. Okay, so I remember him like talking about not getting any tens, and I don't know at what point that was in his grading cycle. But yeah, I mean that's you know that's what's going to happen. I think that you know one CGT is harsh, and two, a lot of people think they're going to get tens, and they really don't deserve to get tens. So it's a bummer. I'm just going to read the chat before I open this. And one of the big Canadian groups saw a dude waffle premium box tens, but holy cats. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Gambling addiction. Yeah. And that's what I talked about in a recent video. Like people love waffles and like, Hey, like waffles are cool and I'm, I'm okay to be fair with them. Like not crazy like that, but yeah, it does, you know, I have this, I always have to think about it because it really plays into that, like, um, that really tough, like, gambling aspect of the hobby. So, Kyogre, Rush Ram, can we get something in the classic spot? Ooh, a Gardevoir EX, baby, from Delta Species. Look at that. Beautiful 06. The Lunala behind it. Another great card with Lily. But look at that. We got ourselves another classic collection. Man. Man. That's a wild card. It's such a wild card. Again, fat on the left, but still really cool. So very stoked for that one as well. Like that bad boy. We're going to stick that one there. Run out of room here, guys. You know what we're gonna do? Throw that. Well, I can't put it in front of Umbreon, so maybe behind Umbreon. There you go, Lunala. All right, there's the code card, and we got one more pack, guys. So appreciate you coming out. Um, super stoked. 
We got the gold star on Brian. We got a Cleffa. We got the full art Pikachu and the research. I mean, what a great ETB. I mean, you, you can't be upset no matter what you pull when you open these. I mean, even the base cards are awesome. So glad to have my, my binder filled out. It's pretty cool. Let's uh, see if we get some last peg magic here, guys. So online trading card game is awaiting you. <laughs> so here's your... It's funny, like, even the code cards are, like, bad print quality. Like, they're, like, faded and, like, not. It's, like, just don't even waste the ink anymore. Just print it somewhere else. My gosh. So, all right. Let's see what we can do here. Huh? Another Reshiram. Lugia. How about that classic collection, guys? What are we going to hit? Any guesses? Put some guesses in the chat. What are we going to hit? Are we going to get, you know, a random... You know, whatever, another Lunala, or are we going to hit something big? Any guesses? Give it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No guesses. I'm going to read Blazers. Chavala thinks we're going to get the Mew. Blazer, I think you're right. You mean the 1099K changes? Yep, people are going to be screwed. They're not going to know what to do. Let's see what we can hit. And boom, Imposter Professor Oak. Look at that guy. Look at that weirdo. I love how they did the shadow on this. Like, I think it looks so good. Um, like, with the, obviously, that's the artwork. But with the, um, like, textured, uh, speckled, um, you know, hollow. It's pretty cool. And another full art Pikachu. Let's go. Let's go. So really, uh, really, really, really happy with those ETB pulls. Um, you, you get the gold star Umbreon. You just can't, you can't, everything else is just a kicker. And we still got great cards. We got Watsy artworks. We got Sugimori artworks. We got two full art Pikachus. I mean, gosh, guys, you can't you can't be upset with that. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And another Pikachu. Honestly, it's ridiculous because there's so many, but why do I want to, like, put one of these in a slab just because? I don't know. There's really no need, um, especially because, like, you're going to have to really look through them to get one that's a 10, especially with, like, the surface, I bet, is going to be really tough on this. Like, really tough because you don't know what's kind of hiding in there. But those eyes are wild. So, checking out the chat. Yeah, and a huge dip coming after scalpers. You know, I think a lot of scalpers have come out. I think that a lot of that plays into the modern game. You just got to remember, there's a lot of manipulation in this hobby everywhere when it comes to the whole price thing. And I just... You know, you should have never gotten into this for the money. And if you are in it for the money, you should definitely reconsider what you got going on there. So, um, all right, guys. Well, let's recap what we got here. Let's recap. We're going to throw this here. Throw this here. So, got ourselves... Uh, so no flying or um, surfing Pikachu V maxes, but we did get the flying Pikachu V. We got ourselves a Zashin V. Got the Charizard V from the uh, Darkness of Blaze pack. Got ourselves a full art Professor's Research. Absolutely banger of a card. Love that one. Also a little fat on the left, but pretty nice. Pikachu times two. Let's take a look. Let's see if those are any different. Um, the centering is like slightly different on both of them, but not crazy off for either of them. This one is a little narrower in the bottom, I guess. But anyway, uh, we got ourselves a Gardevoir EX, an Imposter Professor Oak, absolutely great artwork, Cleffa. One of my favorite Hameno artworks of all time. And of course, we got ourselves a gold star on Brian, ladies and gentlemen. So, super appreciate you guys checking out this ETB opening. 
Um, I'll just take a look at the chat real quick before I hop off. Got to go take care of a few things. So um, Kai Oak Bacon said, if I'm honest and respectable in the community. Yeah, I mean, like, you still hopefully enjoy Pokemon. Um, that's what I would say. Like, if you're just here to use the cards as, like, a widget, I mean – I mean, I guess that's capitalism, so I guess it's fine. If you're being fair and right and you're just creating liquidity in the marketplace, that's okay. Um, but when it gets, uh, you know, when people are trying to take advantage of other people, um, that's that's where the problems come in, I suppose. So makes sense. Supply chain problems with container ships and all. My- yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff going on with that. I think that we're seeing that, you know, there's way more important things that that's affecting than, obviously just uh pokemon but yeah the it's crazy if you look at the maps of like how many ships are stuck out at sea like surrounding north america it's wild so anyway guys um i am absolutely gassed from this week so i'm gonna go work on a few things thank you for checking this out um we pulled the gold star umbreon guys can't beat that so i hope everyone has a great sunday tomorrow be on the lookout for that market monday on monday uh, going to be a real good one. We're going to do a, a pop, monthly pop report review. So I went through some of the data today. PSA is 99% done with 2020 grading at the value TCG level. So be on the lookout on Monday. We're going to talk about some of those pop movements. I'll give you a sneak peek. Over 1,000 cards, 100,000 cards have been added to English base set, which is crazy since February. So anywho. Y'all be good. I'm out. Have a good night. See ya.